Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with episode 51 of New Vegas. All right, when we left off, we had just went through the Three Marys Cavern uh, in our attempt to eliminate the White Legs. Now we're going to go even further into their camp <clears throat> and eliminate them once and for all. There should not be a lot left. Um... Let me look at the map again, because I think I just... Yeah, I did a complete fucking circle. Okay. <laughs> what I do here is go this way, I think. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's this way. Otherwise, I would have seen this and picked this up. Okay. At least I know where I'm going the right direction, not looking like an idiot. Which is easily possible. Especially in this game. Alright. Well, they look like they've, uh... Whoa! Well! The dead horses sure know how to do war! <laughs> wow! Alright. At least I know I have some competent people behind me. Good lord. That I did not expect. Wait, do they have a mini fireball? No, they do not. They had tomahawks, which I don't need. I'm mainly just looking for extra, you know, grenades or whatever. Oop, I'm running to a wall. So that way I can have a little extra firepower should I need it, but I doubt it at this point. The dead horses and sorrows pretty much have this in the bag. Okay, and they're down here. Come on. Let's get... Whoa. Well then. Reload, and bam, right in the head. Jesus. Okay, let's put another round in this guy's head. Whoa. Come on. There we go. That was not quick enough, I think. Come on, let me hit you, you little shit. Alright. Did they just use a med pack or something? A stim pack? I don't know why I had med pack in the brain. Okay. Swap over to this one, see if I get any better. There we go. Alright. That worked out. And I think I can probably No, I cannot do that. Not yet. I'll take your white legs outfit though and repair what I got with that. Yeah, that'll work. Um, I also need some health, that's for damn sure. Uh, I think I should talk about it since we're leading up to the fight. Uh, it is pretty much a wash. <laughs> Soon enough. <clears throat> I, my voice is cracking up and down. It is weird. Which is weird. It's especially weird because I have water right next to me and I've been drinking it the whole time. And I'm going to think of it. That is a Sunset Sarsaparilla bottle. That is a Sunset Sarsaparilla bottle. This is a Molotov made out of a Sunset Sarsaparilla bottle. Alright. Alright. Okay.
Okay, I'm gonna see if I can get this guy with a direct hit. Shit. Did she just say shit? <laughs> That'd be funny if he did. Okay, I'll take your stuff. That was quick. Ish. <laughs> I was just trying to use a firebomb and it didn't exactly work out. Um, like most of the time when I do that sort of thing. Let's repair that with that. And that with that. And, yeah, I think that's all good. Alright. Cool beans. I'm going to be using up these firebombs if I can. Just to get them out and into an enemy or two. <clears throat> Jesus. What was with my freaking voice? Ugh. I warmed up before this episode, I swear. <laughs> I did. What the hell? Alright, sorry about that. <clears throat> what? I didn't realize I'd have to be worrying about traps on the way up here. Jesus. Oh. Oh my. Well, that didn't actually work as intended. Well, there, bye-bye. Okay, how do I get down from here? This is clearly a dead end. Uh, shite. Oh, shiza. What the? Why can't I pick that up? Oh, that sucks. Oh, well. <clears throat> Probably the body's down here because it fell off. Because they bought... They got deaded. Deaded. <laughs> and uh, that's what happened, yeah. Well, was not wrong. Damn, the dead horses are cleaning the fuck up. Woo! Glad you guys were on my side. Alright, and the sun is coming up on this beautiful bloody day. <laughs> It's a beautiful day to shed some blood. It's a beautiful day to shed some blood. I don't know what I'm singing anymore. I'm just being an idiot. <laughs> oh boy. Alright. Uh, which direction now? I keep going south. Okay. Woo! Okay, use them all up. Let's uh, take this guy's head off. This range, maybe. Okay, I was worried that the other one was able to kill someone while I was busy doing that. Okay. Let's see if we can get any more bullets in that. Head. And he's being ganged up on by three people now. Well, four people, including me. Okay, I was just making sure their health was all okay. 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 There we go. All right. Trying to make sure that no one dies during this whole thing. Okay. Purified water. We could actually use some of that right now. What the fuck? <laughs> that was weird. Down you go. <laughs> okay. That was fun. <laughs> That's not something you see every day. Uh, especially in this game. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty much good on all that. I'll just take a healing poultice. Just for now. And let's go this way. 
Um, that is a grill. Who the... Who the fuck? Okay, I'm just making sure I'm not missing anything, because if I'm seeing grills over here... Jeez. <laughs> What's in here? Pilot light. Eh, nothing too good. Nothing fan friggin' tastic. Oh, okay. Okay. I triggered the cutscene. We warned you at Syracuse, and you persisted. You took advantage of us at New Canaan to drive us out. And like the dogs of Caesar you are, you followed us to Zion. And now you stand on holy ground, a temple to God's glory on Earth. The only use for an animal in our temple is sacrifice. Kale Wachene conserva o. You understand me, don't you? Don't you? Out man. Kuna man mad. He kill all white legs. You talk. You stop. Uh. Well. <laughs> You're right. We're gonna kill you, but not like this. Defend yourself. You can no ni kumpa me. They are you. Whoa. Okay, where's the uh, shotgunner? Whoa, trail carbine, fuck yeah, I'm taking that. You are giving me that trail carbine, you little shit. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Okay. Ha ha ha, yes. Finally. Took fucking too long. Whoo! Let's maintain my armor. And maintain that with that. And let's mod this with my scope. Alrighty. I'm pretty much now all good on my weapons that I normally run. Okay, let's... Put some bullets in this guy's head. Or oh, this is not gonna work. Okay. Did... Did Joshua die? Murder. Oh, he's unconscious. Okay. Okay, I was about to say, what the fuck? I wasn't aware he was able to die during this. the same end he would have met if he had died on his knees. I suppose this was for the sake of the dead horses and sorrows. Still, thanks to your help and the grace of God, the White Legs won't be troubling Zion anymore. You're not wrong. Let's go find Daniel. Tomorrow we'll be here soon enough. And there is much to do. That there is. And I got a level up. Cool beans. Uh, let's put mainly most of them in the guns. And the rest will spread around, I think. Um, let's put something to sneak. We do kind of need to bring that up. There we go. Well, let's dump the rest in the sneak, I guess. <laughs> and there and we go. And so it was that the conflict between the new Canaanites and the White Legs was finally resolved. The and boy, was it. involvement had tipped the scale. Shifting the fragile balance of power. Despite their defeat at Three Marys, Thank you, Lee. and the death of their war chief, the White Legs were determined to pursue the other new Canaanites. But when they finally tracked down their prey in Colorado, they discovered the tables had been turned. The White Legs who survived the new Canaanites' ambushes were hunted down by dead horses before they could reach the safety of the Great Salt Lake. When word of the White Legs' diminished numbers reached the 80s tribe, war was declared. And by year's end, the White Legs had been wiped out. The Sorrows fought beside Joshua Graham and the Dead Horses, eradicating the threat the White Legs posed to Zion. When the Courier and Joshua Graham felled salt upon wounds, their victory was celebrated with a great feast. 
The Soros transformation from a peaceful, timid tribe into a proud and warlike people broke Daniel's heart. Mm. He tried to take solace in the knowledge that they would remain in Sion, but it was a small comfort. The Soros innocence was lost. Having helped eradicate the White Legs from Zion, the Dead Horses returned to Dead Horse Point in triumph. They remained neutral toward the Soros, but as years went on, there were periods of competitive friction, even violence between the tribes. The new Canaanites, Daniel especially, intervened regularly as mediators, but found it difficult to reconcile the tribes' conflicts. The defeat of the White Legs and Zion marked a turning point in the fortunes of the Happy Trails Caravan Company. Every two months, the caravan met with the new Canaanites in Zion Valley to trade. Happy Trails soon returned to prosperity. Awesome. The vigilance of the sorrows and dead horses in defending southwestern Utah, initially startling to Happy Trails caravans, soon proved a blessing. The tribes united against the 80s, driving them back from Highway 50, and thus opening yet another trading route for Happy Trails caravans. Follows Chuck took the courier's words to heart and decided that he would behold the sights and sounds of distant lands with his own eyes and ears. After returning to Dead Horse Point, he quarreled with his family and other tribe members about his ambitions. One morning, they awoke to discover that Follows Chuck had set off alone, westward, into the wilderness. He was never seen again. Waking Cloud was mm. distraught when she learned Good. of her husband's death, but took comfort from rain. her tribe and the compassion of the new Canaanites. She forgave Daniel for having concealed her husband's fate from her and learned to accept his fate. When her grief faded, she took a husband from the Dead Horse tribe. At her bidding, he stayed close to home. Though the courier had stopped Joshua Graham from executing salt upon wounds, the war chief still fell in battle. The White Legs defeated at Three Marys, Joshua led the sorrows and dead horses in tending to their comrades and burning the corpses of their foes. He continued to advocate militant opposition to the enemies of New Canaan and showed little quarter to those he fought. And yet he was changed. He no longer reveled in the brutality and cruelty for which he had been known in his former life. His inner demons, if not extinguished, were at the least appeased. For years after the defeat of the White Legs, Daniel did his best to minister to the Sorrow's spiritual needs. Try as he might, he could not hold back the tribe's increasing militancy and reverence of Joshua Graham. Demoralized, he returned to his family and Dead Horse Point. His failures haunted him for the rest of his days. And with that, the courier walked out of the history of the tribes of Zion and back to the gathering storm of the Mojave Wasteland. All in all, I think it went pretty well. At least I would say. And this is all the stuff I had earned in this little adventure. All of the stuff here. A light shining in the darkness, which is an awesome pistol. It was originally Joshua's. Speaking of which, here's his armor. Which is pretty damn good, I'd say. Then the scripture, which you can at least hold on to. I'm going to put it away in my desk at the apartment later. Uh, a lot of the stuff is pretty good, but you don't necessarily need to have it. This would sell for pretty, a uh, pretty penny, so we'll keep that. Chalk's headdress really has no use. Daniel's hat really has no use. But, uh, yeah, this is a way you can uh, dump pretty much all your stuff in here. All the stuff that you're going to be carrying out anyway. Uh, you can gather up all the stuff back at base, then carry it all out. Which is a very good way to do things, I think. Uh, 
Dump all these there. Ah, didn't use the, fra the frag grenade. I was about to say frash, and that was wrong, too. Uh, it would have been wrong either way. I would have been screwed over. I'm going to put that armor on for the time being. I'm going to be keeping that because I can make a uh, very resistant armor later on. But for the time being, I'm just going to put this away. And let's see. Is there anything else I can be dumping? Uh, a lot of shit. I don't know why I had dirty water. I didn't try to carry that. <laughs> Um, deter anti-venom, dump all that in there. Uh, okay. This is basically inventory management at this point. <laughs> and it could take a while. Okay. I think that's all good for now. And, well, now you know the end of the DLC, so I'll deal with all this and I'll head back home in the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community and we can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only, Stray Cat, playing games for you.